Hello Wooden Heart Co supporters, thank you so much for being here and for tuning in with us today. Um, I've got a little bit of space from the Naughty Pup, so I've come out into my shable, which is my happy place. I'm always happy when I'm creating. I'm really sorry about the mess, it's, it's gone a bit bonkers at the minute, but you know, that's the way it goes when you've got a five month old pup with a broken leg. So <laughs> anyway, I wanted to share with you a little bit about a process that um, you might enjoy if uh, there are creatives among you. Um, this is this little piece here. I hope the picture's clear enough. So it's just a small little picture, mixed media and um, nice and lightweight, easy to post or, you know, just giftable. It could be for a wedding or a birthday or blah, blah, you know. They're, they're really cute little items. Some of them I've left the little handle on, the little doorknob, which I really think is sweet and quirky, but I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, so some of them I've taken them off. Um, and it starts off just with this plain and simple drawer from a little chest of drawers set. Here's the drawers here. As you can see, you get three in each one. And then what I've done, once I've given it a couple of coats of white paint, this has already had two. It looks like it's going to need another another coat there because it's just not covering enough. The first coat was 50-50 um, white emulsion, which is in that tub. Uh, and, and because it's going to soak in a lot. Um, then you sand it and then do a second coat. And then I'm going to be sanding that and doing a third coat before I can start any of the creative process. And then this one is the third phase so I've already done a second phase in between which I can't show you right now because it's a wet and messy thing and I won't be able to hold my phone <laughs> and do this video so basically it's a layer of plaster now I use a really specific plaster it's called crystal cow and the reason I use that is because it can do really fine um, edges not particularly for these things but for some other sculpting and, and work that I do uh, it's very hard and it's very white um, it's not a clunky heavy kind of cheapy run-of-the-mill Hello Kitty mould type plaster. Don't mean to be rude to Hello Kitty, I'm not saying <laughs> it's not a kid's kit plaster, put it that way. Okay. And then one once that that plaster's in there and it's kind of mm, two thirds dry, I then lay in my elements. So I'd already planned some of these. Some of them are here, as you can see. I kind of lay them out with ideas and the little knickknacks that I think might suit. You know, I have hundreds of these things. There's one dog. He's not naughty though. He's four and he's a very good boy. So here's drawers and tubs and etc. of all my little elements. I place them all out. I lay them out and have a think about what I might need. And then when I'm ready, as I say, when it's two thirds dry, I'll pop the elements in. So these are um, little gems and crystals, these little ones here. And once they're you know, I've done all the other work on them. I'll rub them back and you'll be able to see that they're shiny again. The wording I've placed underneath some masking fluid here. I mean, you can use any make. This is just one I have. Um, the masking fluid stops the, the paint and the plaster sticking to the wording. And obviously you have to make sure the wording is printed on a, on a card or a paper stock that's going to not run when a water element is added to it. So most home printers won't be able to do that. You'd need to get, either get it printed professionally or, ha or have a specific ink printer at home for, of your own. And then just embed the other elements. And then I'll move on to the next phase, which I'll catch up with you on soon. Hope you like that. Bye now.